The problem we are tackling is to find the maximum subset sum of an array. Let's look at an example. Consider this subset, which has a sum of negative 2, and another subset with a sum of negative 1, and so on. The goal here is to identify any subset whose sum is the maximum. In this particular case, the subset with the maximum sum is this one, with a total of 6. Now, solving this problem using a brute force approach would require exploring all possible subsets, which is highly inefficient for larger arrays. Instead, we can use an optimized method known as Cadane's algorithm. This powerful algorithm allows us to efficiently determine the maximum subset sum in a single pass through the array. First, we need to initialize a variable called global maximum and initially set it to the first value of the array, which is at the zero index in this example. Similarly, we create a variable called current maximum, which is also set to the first value of the array. Next, we run a loop starting from the second value of the array, which is located at the first index in this example. Then, at each iteration, we need to update these two variables. First, we update the current maximum variable. Here, we take the maximum of either the value at the current index or the sum of the current index value and the current maximum value. Pause and think about it. Next, we update the global maximum value. This is done by taking the maximum of the current maximum and the global maximum. Again, pause and ponder. So at this iteration, we have to update the current maximum value. First, we take the current element, which is one here, and compare it with the sum of the current element and the current maximum value, which is negative one. Then we take the maximum of these two values, which is one. Next, we update the current maximum to one. And now we update the global maximum to the maximum of the current current maximum and the global maximum, which is one here. So we update it to one. Now, the algorithm will continue to follow the same steps in each iteration. So I will pause the voiceover here and let the algorithm run until it completes.
after the last iteration, the algorithm stops and returns the sum, which is six. And the subset is this one, highlighted in blue. If you also want to find the subset itself, you can maintain a left and right index pointer during the process. However, this is not required for this specific leap code problem, so you can try implementing it on your own as an additional exercise. Now, once you understand the visuals, the code becomes straightforward. First, define the current maximum and global maximum values, both initially set to the first element of the array. Then, run a for loop starting from the second element to the last one. Inside the loop, update these two values based on the formula. Once the loop ends, simply return the global maximum value, which represents the sum. Now, make sure to check out the GitHub link for the code and the LeetCode problem link provided in the description.